His nickname is Bear. He's world champion and he loves being on the podium. He was born wild and free on Exmoor. Now he's as tame as a dog. He's mastered the seesaw and he even jumps through hoops. Oh, it's, it's amazing. You know, to have this bond with a pony that when he first came to me, it took me a year to put a head collar on, um, who I've been through numerous shows and people have seen him jump all over the place and even get away in the show ring and all that kind of thing. To have this kind of bond and to know that he wants to do it is, is the best thing ever. Competitors from as far afield as Canada, Australia and Taiwan took part. The sport was founded by Devon woman Vanessa B. The competition was a video competition worldwide where we had people from all over the world had a set course that they had to film themselves completing. No editing, not just taking out the good bits, they had to video the whole thing. And then they send the videos in and judges go through it and award marks. The thing is, when you take any gadgets off a horse, like a head collar and lead rope, you're only left with the truth about the relationship. If that horse leaves, he's telling you something. Maybe you've been a little bit hard, maybe your feelings are a little bit negative, but when you have that connection with the horse and he stays with you, he's telling you he likes being with you. He has the choice. It is great fun. You see, we don't Good use boy. any gadgets at all. So it really tests your horsemanship. We don't use whips, we don't use sticks. We work towards not using any lead ropes and head collars. So you have to be really good with your communication oh. skills. The next stage for the world champions is to try to ride the obstacle course with no saddle or bridle. Janine Jansen, BBC Spotlight, Exmoor.